Hey, I'm Guy Freeman Yeti, and today, Double C Campus Chowdown is rolling out to the Double A Ann Arbor. The Camaro's in the shop, but that's not gonna stop us from trying to climb Mount Nachismo. When this is done, I may need a Double D, designated driver. What this guy was trying to say is we're here in downtown Ann Arbor at T.O.'s Mexican Cafe, ready to conquer Mount Nachismo. Instead of 127 hours, we got 45 minutes, folks. Now, we may never be macho macho men, but I think we can definitely be nacho nacho men. Let's go inside and give it a shot. U of M? More like U of Triple M for mmm, because this place is Flavortown University. Scoop dog. And Tio's, a family business from top to bottom, has been dishing out the south of the border favorites since it opened as a small takeout joint back in 1987. And six years ago, Jeremy Seaver's father handed him the restaurant reins. And thanks to his killer skills and a loyal fan base, he was able to upgrade to this radical sit-down cantina on East Liberty Street. Win or lose during football season, Tio's gets packed like the big house. But the busiest day of the year, it's gotta be Cinco de Mayo. We do this celebration. We actually uh, shut down Liberty Street out of front. Shutting the block down? Now that's my kind of party. But it's not all about the tequila. You can bring the whole family. We actually have a dog team that's going to be here as part of the petting zoo. Uh, so that'll be fun for the kids. we got a bass beater coming. There'll be live music. Uh, we have three bands performing, including a flamenco dancing troupe. So uh, that's very exciting. Speaking of the Day of the Dead, today we're here to face the Mount Nachismo Challenge. A daring feat more than 400 people have attempted and only nine completed. This looks a little more intimidating than Everest at this point. <laughs> That's right, brother. I think the odds of climbing Everest are even better. And we know what you're thinking. Of the nine people who did it, how many of them were Brady Hoke? Uh, zero. zero. Sad, sad to say, no, Brady never tried it. Oh, damn, Do you think he could have been successful at it? Uh, you know, I, I hate to throw him under the bus. He didn't have a whole lot of success here, so let's just leave it at that. How quick do you think Rich Rod would have bailed on it? Oh, yeah. No, Rich Rod, I think he would have taken a look at it and left town, definitely. Just like everyone else on campus, Jeremy is confident that Harbaugh could get the job done. To see what we were up against, we went back to base camp, a.k.a. the kitchen, to meet our maker, Lee. How scared should I be, man? You should be terrified, dude. It's way too many nachos for a single person. As a five-pound nacho platter, this whole thing. Mount Nachismo is known as today's Fab Five. Would you ever attempt the Mount Nachismo? No, I have no reason to eat five pounds of it. <laughs> Do you have any strategy for me? You've seen some successful yes. ones? as a matter of fact, I think I have one good thing for you. Don't stop, keep going, and just keep a good pace from the get-go. If you flounder, you're gonna sink. I saw Adam Richmond did the sandwich. He kind of took the two and layered them and sandwiched them. He is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. He's he's his way of going through it is pretty much the most impressive thing I've ever seen. He's played showmanship, he kind of played with it, actually toyed with the nachos. He was in the zone. He was the master of the My brother Lee starts the mountain with a crispy layer of corn chips. This place puts the maize in maize and blue. He adds a blanket of Mexican shred shed and bulky beans and then repeats for two layers of Crunch City. They melt the cheese down and then it's time for the protein, chicken, beef, and their dynamite carnitas. This is going to be our famous pork here, and uh, would you like a certain pencil to try this with? I think I'll just finger it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh man, isn't that damn good? That is out of bounds, bro. Oh, yeah. It's not like your pulled pork, like at barbecue. Right. It's got this citrus little punch to the face. Mm -hmm. the sweet. Bomb.com. It's perfect. And hey, citrus isn't the only unique flavor in the pork. Lavender. Mm -hmm. I like lavender candles. What comes after all that meat? Well, I'll just let Lee explain. And then afterwards, we're going to have a pool of queso that we're going to set on the top, surrounded by sour cream and guacamole. And of course, it's going to be doused in veggies of all sorts. All in all, it's going to be just tons of food, just a little bit of everything, and it's really just a good way to just experience all of Tio's while at the same time engaging in your masochistic pleasures. <laughs> Our trail was cleared, now it was time to climb. Alright, well that sums it up with our Sherpa Lee at base camp. 
We'll meet you out there, man. That's right. Good luck, boys, with your climb. Thank, Thank you, sir. Jeremy delivered our platters, and it was time to get cranking. Thanks, Jeremy. Absolutely. Good luck, guys. Thanks, man. Do it. Cheers. Just like the nachos, we were off to a hot start. I like that every bite is different. As we continued to dive in, we realized our biggest problem wasn't going to be the clock or the food wall. I'm not worried about the full. It really is my jaws right now. All of that chewing was really getting to us. Six pack jaws. The mountain was getting the better of us, but the fresh flavors kept us kicking. It's very good. But it's as good as it is big. Yeah, it's, you know, that's a good point. It's delicious. As we began to question ourselves, so did other eaters. What is it? It's a Mount Nachismo. Wow. Whoa is right. We've been going hard and haven't even made a dent. Now I'm like looking at this. Like, like I, said, I don't think you should. With less than 10 minutes to go, I was scared to take another bite. And Al wasn't feeling much better. Stick a fork in me. Just as we were ready to raise our white flag, the competition was over. We had lost. The first time in our Campus Shot On series, I've been defeated. I'm three and one. And today, the Wolverines are on top. And Mike Hart was right. Only for today, I'm the little brother to Tio's and Mount Nachi's mom. And just like Lord Oberyn, the mountain has defeated us. Just leave me at the top of the mountain, I'll get frostbite. We'll see you next time on Campus Showdown. I promise I'll have a better performance. Hey, Ann Arbor, I have <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let's watch, I'm sorry, which way?